Hello, Harlem Globetrotters fans from around the world, and welcome to another episode of Globetrotters at Home. I'm Big Easy Lofton, and today's episode is something I like to call story time. Let's get into it. Today's book that we're going to do for story time is called Luke Goes to Bat. Um, this is by Rachel Isadora, and I'd like to especially thank Dolly Parton's Imagination Library for sending these books. We really appreciate it. We're going to have fun with story time. And this is our first book up, Luke Goes to Bat. All right. Now, to help me read Luke Goes to Bat, is something we do every night before bedtime. Um, it's my, my oldest son, Kingsley. Say, hey, Kingsley. Thank you. <laughs> and we usually have cash orders, too, but everybody knows, you know, he's one years old, so he can get a little feisty. So we want to just try to do a me and Kingsley so we can get through it and have some fun. Right, King? <laughs> All right. Oh, now let Daddy get his glasses. All right, here we go. Luke goes to bed. It was Brooklyn. It was summer. It was baseball. All day long, kids on Bedford Avenue play stickball in the streets. Summer. Summer. Stickball. It's like baseball. Except for Luke. When you're older, his brother Nikki told him, he's just a squirt. One of the older kids said, laughing. He <laughs> see a point at Luke. <laughs> Silly. Silly. So Luke watched the games from the curb. And then he practiced. He threw the ball against the wall next to the deli. He practiced his swing over and over again. He ran as fast as he could up and down the block. He wanted to be ready when it was time. And at night, whenever the Dodgers were playing, Luke hurried up to the roof where he could see the lights of Epis Field. When he heard a crowd go wild, he imagined his favorite player, Jackie Robinson, had hit a home run. Someday Luke thought, I would hit a home run too. See Luke sitting on the roof, imagining the game. That's cool, huh? Finally, one morning, the team was short of player. Frankie had to go see his aunts. Who are we gonna get? Hey, said Luke, what about me? Everyone was quiet. Oh, come on, he said his brother. Give him a chance. We got nobody else. He better not mess up. They put him in left field. No ball came his way. So he just stood there. Luke was happy to play. Uh-oh, here we go. Look at Luke about to bat. When it was his turn to bat, when it was his turn up to bat, Luke took a few practice swings. Then he stepped up to the plate. I'll show him, Luke muttered. <laughs> he gonna, he gonna try. The ball whisked past. Strike one! Luke held the bat tighter. Yeah, he tried. He tried to swing at it. He held the bat tighter. Strike two. Luke was barely in position when the next ball flew past and the catcher yelled, Out! Per poor Luke. You stink, Luke heard. Why is he hurt Well, he didn't hurt himself. He just was sad because he struck out. He didn't hit a home run like he wanted to. But he's going to keep practicing, right? He got up to bat one more time, but struck out again. Sometimes it just goes that way, his brother told him. Frankie came back to, in the afternoon, so Luke spent the rest of the day on the curb. He was sure they'd never let him play again. Grandma was in the kitchen when he got home. I finally got a chance to play with the team, Luke told her. Grandma could tell that the game hadn't gone well. Not everyone plays like Jackie Robinson, all the time, she said. Not even Jackie Robinson. Luke didn't smile. By the way, Grandma said, are you doing anything tomorrow night? Luke shrugged. Well, if you're so busy, someone else will have to go with me to the game at Abbotsville. What? You mean a real game? Grandma had held up two tickets. Grandma going to the baseball game. Remember you went to the baseball game, King? Yeah, but... Mm -hmm. I gotta go there. Okay, we're gonna go again. Yeah, the, the baseball is so far away as the soccer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Evans Field was ablaze with lights. But this time, Luke didn't have to imagine the game. Thanks for taking me, Grandma, he said. They watched the Dodgers and Phillies battle it out. The game went to extra innings. By the time the Dodgers got up to bat in the bottom of the 14th inning, the score was still tied. 8-8 eight, eight with two outs. Jackie Robinson was up. Crowd roar. Come on, Jackie! Luke yelled. The pitcher threw a curveball. Curveball. Jackie swung. 
Strike one, the umpire called. Pritchard wound up. He drew a fastball, and Jackie missed. Strike two. Three balls followed. All eyes at Evans Field rested on Jackie. The Great. Dodgers could still win. Because he, he was swinging at it. He was trying to hit. That's why they, they went fast. Sometimes you miss, you know? Luke shouted with the crowd. Give it to him, Jackie. You show him. Jackie looked around from under his cap, then dug his feet into the dirt. Is that Ducky? That's not. Nah, that's Luke. It's Jackie right here, the baseball player. This is Luke, the little kid who just watching. See Jackie right there? The pitcher began his wind up. Why are you Jackie right here? Because he's a baseball player. You can do it, Jackie, Luke whispered. You can do it. Because Luke doesn't know about him. Mm-hmm. That's his favorite player. Suddenly, Luke heard the and loud... And put his head. <laughs> yeah, we let Daddy read that part. Suddenly, Luke heard the loud crack of the bat. When you he looked up... Ready? No, I'm about to read it out. When he looked up, the ball was flying over his head. Flew over the scoreboard. Flying over the walls of Ebbetsfield. The crowd went wild. Luke stood up in the seat. Out that game? Yep, that's that game. Out the park. Luke stood up on, and his, on his seat and cheered. You showed him, Jackie. What a game. Grandma said, see, you can't give up. Even Jackie Robinson got to keep trying. Luke didn't answer. He just hit it. He hit it. He kept he trying. It. Yep. When Luke got but home. Is it got on the seat? I don't know. We're going to see. When Luke got home, he ran up to the roof. The roof. The lights were going out at Ebbetsfield. Come on down. It's bedtime. Why the light called. was going out? Because it was nighttime. Just then, Luke saw. Because you don't like the lights on? Yeah, the, the time to go. The, the park was going was going down. It was time to go to sleep. Now look at this. Luke. Just then, Luke saw a ball lying on the ground. Look, he said, picking it up. This is the home run ball that Jacob Robinson hit tonight. Well, that makes sense. He said, nah, that's just some old ball a kid hit up on the roof. Nick said, laughing, as he went downstairs. All right, here we go. And that's when Luke saw him, saw him, and that's when Luke saw him. It was Jackie Robinson himself. I hit that one for you, kid. But Luke could say a word. Jackie ran to the dugout to join the other Dodgers. But he looked back one more time. Hey, kid, he said. Your grandma was right. You can't give up. Thanks, Mr. Robinson. The final lights went out at Ebbetsfield. Luke looked Why down at the winning ball and smiled. And he said, I won't give up. He wished for himself. And he didn't. What's he doing right there? What did he hit? Yeah. He hit a home run? And he hit it far. Did he hit it far? Yeah, he wanted to hit it far because Jackie wanted to get in trouble. Jackie didn't want to get in trouble, so he hit it far. D. N. It was awesome to introduce King to Jackie Robinson. He was a pioneer in the game of baseball. The Globetrotters have many pioneers also. Somebody by the name of Nat Sweetwater Clifton. He was the first African-American to sign an NBA contract. Also, Goose Tatum, one of the greatest showmen ever. Um, before he became a Globetrotters, he actually was playing baseball for the Negro League. So it's awesome that we have those guys to be in sync and to, to show that, you know, you can be anything and do anything you want to do. Um, for the, the baseball and basketball link, especially with the Holy Globetrotters, in baseball there's something they used to call pepper. It's when a couple of baseball guys would get around, throw the ball in the circle, and they said that was the origin of the world famous magic circle, when five or six of the best ball handlers in the world you know, show you the best tricks when a, a globe trotter game starts. So it was cool to actually have those links and have those things in common and teach King that at three years old. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Globe Trotters at Home. Hope you enjoyed today's topic, this great book, Luke Goes to Bat. And for to find out more and to see more episodes, go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com forward slash at home. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, King. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Love you. Mwah. Little kiss. Yeah.